Hey y'all, Justin McKay at Catfish. I'm getting out here on the Tennessee River to do some more catfishing this morning. It's about 7.15 a.m. right now, so getting a little bit later start than what I would like. The sun's already starting to come up. But where I'm fishing at today is a river bend. This is a shallower section of the river. I'm anchored down in 27 feet of water right now. This particular area, it's been good to me spring and fall. Now we're into mid-September here today when I'm filming this, but it's still been really hot lately. I mean, we've still had mid 90s summertime temps. So with the water temperature still being 80 degrees here, I don't know if that's going to play into the fishing at all. I don't know. If, I may just be off on my timing today, but you don't know till you throw as old Catfish Dave says. So we're going to put some baits down there and see what we can get. Now for bait today, I've got some skipjack and I've got some uh, really small white bass. I've also got part of a shell cracker left over from my last trip and I may drop down there as well. And uh, we'll just put some time in out here this morning and see what happens. I don't have any current flow right now. I, you probably can't tell from the video, but I'm actually facing upstream here uh, right now just due to what little bit of wind there is. But they are supposed to kick on the generators at 9 a.m. So where I'm fishing at today, it'd probably be 10 a.m. before I have any noticeable current, assuming TVA starts out with enough flow uh, to even be noticeable. So, you know, we'll make the most of it. Ideally, I'd like to have some current flowing down through here to get my scent going downstream because I'm at the top of this bend and fish could be anywhere down through here along this bend. So I want them to be able to find my baits and come up and get them. But, you know, uh, we'll just make the most of it. We'll put our time in, see if we can pull up. All right, guys, first bait going down, piece of skipjack. Drop it down there. I'll be suspend fishing again today. I'll have my baits raised up off the bottom, directly under the kayak, just two, three feet off the bottom. It's not, a, not an exact science, just somewhere there approximately. I'll use three rods today. another piece of skipjack on here to start with. I have two rods with skipjack and one with a white bass. Get them scales, it's important. You always want to get them scales off your hook there, off the hook point and away from the barb. Get you more hookups. There's that bait. Drop it down. Bait's kind of been tough here again lately. I haven't put in as much time to try to get bait as I need to, but I can't find any big white bass. So the white bass I've been getting have just been tiny. I don't know where the big ones have gone to, but I am starting to pick up a few more skipjack here and there, which is a good sign. Oh heck. I can get hold of it. There's that, just a, basically a half of one of those small white bass. We'll have it up here on this front rod. All right, y'all. We got our lines out. We're fishing. Fishing, fishing. It's time, y'all. It's time to get this day started. Do today, like I said, it's kind of a kind of crapshoot out here today. I don't know what to expect. Timing of the year, I expect to do well, but just the heat that we've had, don't know if they're gonna be here yet. Oh, this fish has done swam in my other line. Doggone it! <laughs> oh, come out of it. Look right there. Look right there. Set that in back and we'll pick up on this one. Let's pick up on this one. I knew I felt a thump. <laughs> well, business is picking up here, y'all. Let me see what time it is. I don't even know where my phone's at. I ain't been on the water too long, though. 20 minutes, maybe. Look right here, look right there, there goes that one too. I'm tripled up, y'all. I'm tripled up. Heck yeah, man. 
I think this one in my hand is maybe the biggest here, so I'm gonna stick with it for now. And then we'll get these other two going. It's not a bad blue right there now. Not bad. He's fired up, ain't he? <laughs> He's fired up. I'll tell you what, we'll set him back. Clean that camera off. Let's pick up on this one on the front here. This one ate the white bass head. And the other two had ate the skipjack. Oh, this one's in my anchor rope. Dang. Tell you what, I'm gonna leave this and set in a minute. He's in my anchor rope. That's uh, the downfall of not having any current out here. Fish kind of get you going every which way, and when you tripled up and you can't pick up on a rod immediately. They go where they want to go, and then that one went right to my anchor rope. This one here's the flathead. Look at that right there. Well, that's a pretty one, too. Look at that. Look at that one right there now. Man, is that a pretty flathead or what? He has got all kinds of neat colors on there. It's like a, it's like a computer-generated camouflage, don't it? <laughs> And that's cool. All right, well, let's let him go. See you, Mr. Flatty. Now, let's land this blue cat. Then we'll work on that one there. Bring that in. That one's hooked on the bottom jawbone. He wasn't coming free, no matter what. All right, that's a pretty good fish right there now. I don't know how long he is. He's probably somewhere 32, 34 inches. I don't have my board set up yet. So I wasn't sure if I was gonna need it today. I'll probably set it up now after this. That's a good size fish, man. Fish two of three. Let's let him go. There you go. All right, now let's see if we can get this one out of the anchor. Oh yeah, he's come out. He's come out of the anchor. Good. Sometimes they get down there and just roll and make wraps around it. Yeah. A little blue cat. All right, fish number three of three. Well, let's let him go. I want to get them baits back down there. Yeah, I was concerned about my timing of being out here today, but after a triple to start the morning, I'm feeling more optimistic. All right, guys, another piece of skipjack on that rod. Both of them fish threw my skipjack chunks off the other, off the other hooks there, so unfortunately wasn't able to get them back. And that skipjack, that one is all I had. So, I am going to recycle a bait, uh, used the head of that skipjack yesterday, but I kept it. And uh, so I'm going to use it again today, we'll just see if we can get something on it here. I don't know if we will or not, but we'll try it and see. There it is, big old skipjack head. I soaked it probably an hour and a half yesterday. Wasn't, wasn't much action on that trip, so probably won't probably won't film that. Or shouldn't say I won't film it, probably won't release that video. Just for the lack of action on it. Alright, there's another little white bass head. We'll drop it here off the front. So we fishing again. I'm excited though, three fish to start the morning. That's a good sign. All right, guys, I had a dink rip off that piece of skipjack, so I'm gonna put that piece of shellcracker on there. Let's see what that does for us. 
can't hurt to try. Let's go. Fish on. On that uh, piece of shell cracker we just dropped down. Thing hadn't been down there maybe five minutes. The fish took off. Let's see what we got. There's a blue cat. All right, there he is. He ate that piece of shell cracker. Unfortunately, he threw it off the hook. So that was my last piece of shell cracker and out of skipjack other than just that used head from yesterday on that back rod there. So it's gonna be white bass the rest of the morning. There he is. One last look and he's gone. Oh goodness. <laughs> Right here. Look right there, buddy. Look right there. Let's fish on on that white bass head. Been down there soaking a while. Been on the water a little over an hour now. There we go. Another blue cat. Alrighty. A little fat blue cat there. Wanted that white bass head. So we gave it to him. <laughs> we'll put another one on there and see if we can feed another one. Down there just on rolling with it, ain't he? <laughs> he ate it and just immediately started spinning down there. <laughs> you know you got your future golly whopper about 50 years from now when they start doing that. The big ones just don't act like that. <laughs> they all fun though. A little dink blue cat. We're keeping things interesting out here this morning. Been pretty consistent action from the start so I'll take a day like this anytime man. I'd rather I'd rather get action than sit out here and twiddle my thumbs all day long. That one right there is even kind enough to leave me my bait on there. We'll try it down there again. Well, y'all, I finally had a little bit of a lull out here. I'd went like an hour without a bite, and then all of a sudden just boom, boom, had a nice double on. And unfortunately, there was this jackass in a pleasure boat going by, blaring his music so loud it could raise the dead. And, you know, that kind of thing with YouTube, it'll get you dinged. If there's music playing in the background, if their computer programs can recognize a song, you get demonetized for it for playing copyrighted music. So I'll probably have to either edit those fish out or just kind of mute the footage. I don't know how I'll go about it just yet. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. That's part of filming on public water. Yep. Show Right there. Look right there. That one just got hit too. Oh. I don't think that one hooked up. He hit it hard, but he didn't hook up. But he's back for it. He's back for it. Let me set that one back. Let's grab this one. He hit it the first time, didn't get hooked up. He came back and got it the second time. It's on a white bass head. I've had that old skipjack head soaking down there for the last couple hours but I ain't had no action on it. I'm gonna leave it down there though since I got these other two rods that I can use with the white bass. All right a little dink right there. Let's pick this one back up and we'll land him while that one tires himself out. All right a little dink blue. We'll land this one. Right, and there's that dink blue. Small fish, but it's good to get some action. You know, I went there about an hour with no bites at all, and I got that last double that the pleasure boater ruined, and then uh, this double here. So hopefully some more fish are cycling through here right now. All right, y'all, I think I'm gonna wrap up this trip. I haven't had a bite in a long time now. It's about noon, and uh, you know it was pretty consistent action there first thing this morning, and then I had a lull. And then I had two doubles back to back come through pretty quickly 
and then I've had a long break since then and uh, I've kept riding it out out here hoping as the current flow picked up this morning it would help my calls and help get my scent going downstream but they're just not generating much up there at the dam I mean there's no noticeable current at all here we've got just a light breeze and it's blowing me upstream so uh, I don't think that's going to help me, but I'll tell you what, I had a good time out here this morning. I caught several fish. I didn't get any real whoppers this morning, but I think that's more or less just my timing being off. Like I said, it's uh, still a little warmer, warmer water temps than what it would normally be this time of year. So I think you give it two, three more weeks, let the water temps start to cool a little bit, and you'll start seeing a lot more big fish show up in this area. So I'll definitely be back out here when that happens. But uh, anyway, guys, yeah, had a good time this morning. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.